What's up with this internet shit? Scrabble TV. Hi, I'm Heather Barton. And I'm Richie Antipuna. And this is Kenzo News. Why don't you say... You always look at me and say your name. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, this I guess first? everybody knows today is like a monumental day in history because uh, Osama bin Laden was found and killed. And I really, that's all I know at this point because I didn't watch the news. I went to bed early and got up early. And I, I don't know that either. I think it's propaganda. I don't, I don't think you it's You don't true. think he's really dead? Nope. Well, I would want to see the body in person because they late. showed pictures. Too late. They said they I just found out he buried him at sea. At sea? How convenient. Yeah, because I think they should get like his DNA and they should, you know. They well, it's too, they, what, whatever they should do, it's too late. Public they viewing can't. to show people. Yeah, well, but now I think it's just going to be, you know, scary because I think they're going to want to retaliate against us. And I. Well, don't give them no fucking ideas. Oh yeah, I'm sure they watch our show over there in freaking <laughs> Afghanistan. <laughs> We're so popular Af over there. Afghanistan. Is that where he was at? Where was he? I don't know. Where did they find him? They didn't find him in Kensington. That's where he was. But I would have thought that would have been a good place for him to hide out. Nobody would have really paid He was attention. a Kensington Strangler. Didn't yeah, see except the for beard? wheeling around his kidney machine. Didn't he have a dialysis machine that he had to wheel around with him? And he survived for nine and a half years in a cave on dialysis. That's why I said, like, he should have just died <clears throat> naturally before this, before they had to actually kill him. He probably did, and they're just going to say, ah, oh, we got him. No, you I think? just... You don't think it's him? He's in a witness protection program. They have that over there? No, they, it's, they have it here. Oh, you oh you think he's here for real? Well, I got my gas mask ready anyway, just in case anything happens. I'll hmm. have one extra for you, just me and my kids. Okay. So, that's that, I guess. But funny thing, never mind, I ain't going there. Never mind. All right, next. Um, they couldn't find Osama bin Laden, but who did they find last week before they found Osama? They oh, they, they found Richie and Tapuna. Yes, they did. They did a sweep. The scalp law. And I got, that, that's because they use that Swiffer thing. The sweep. The thing that they, you see the dust fly to it. Yeah, so how did that go? Tell the story. What happened? Well, they came to my house on at the avenue. six in the morning. And my wife and daughter woke me up and said, Dad, the police are here for you. And I said, oh. Again? Get my teeth in my hat. I gotta go. <laughs> you got your teeth? Yeah. Like you need them in jail? Yeah. Yes. Oh. What was it do? For what? Uh, you have to be in front of a judge. I don't want to look like a fucking Kenzo in front of the judge. Just in case you, somebody thought you were cute in jail, you could get your. Nah, you there was only there was only a few people in there. There's the, about five people that got picked up. And you knew well, them three all? people. No, but uh, you know they were in. We, they went to their houses and picked them up. I wish I had that on camera. I forget their names, but the you know the one kid lived on Willard Street. The one guy. You're outing people. So what? Dirty rat. The one guy lived to his name's Jamal. He sells uh, clothes and stuff at 60th and more, or 70th and Chestnut, or 60th and Chestnut. Oh, yeah. So stop down and see them. Tell them Richie sent you. All right. So they did a <laughs> sweep in March. They're getting really good at this. They're like they're doing them. Consecutively, I guess. For, sorry, I just hit my mind. Um If I had known that, I wouldn't have been there in April. Right, Wait a minute. You'd have been hiding out. Oh yeah, April. It was it's April. May now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And they had 32 people in March. They they got for about 500 tickets, which totaled about 120,000. And yours alone are probably like 120,000 too, right? So. Nah. All right. Well, I would like to thank the police officers who who arrested me. Um, Officer Wal uh, Walters and McMahon, yeah. and there were two other ones, but they didn't say their names. But they were cool. Thanks. That was, that was yeah. They didn't handcuff me in front of my wife and kid. Oh, that's sweet. Did they go through the drive-thru at McDonald's and get you something to eat? No, but listen, I gotta tell this story. It's funny. We're going to the second guy, or the fourth guy's house, and we turn the corner, and he's got this big. There's this big sign on a, uh, a minivan. It says, "Vote for." I don't even know the fucking lady's name for a traffic court judge. And I said, I will bet you that we're going to that motherfucking person's house. 
and it was him. The guy comes to the car after they're, they're, they arresting him and they're putting him in the van with me and he's like, look, I even got the sign on my van. I said, I fucking knew it. So he gets he in. The caller? He gets in, right? And I'm like, I bet you ain't fucking voting for it now, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Got to get her name. Yeah, I forget her name. Well, so enough about criminals around the world. Okay. What else is going on? What else is going on? Well, I'll tell you what's going on. A senior citizen robbed local pharmacy for painkillers on March 23rd. Wow, more criminals. Yeah. A senior citizen walked into the Lux Pharmacy at... 8749 Frankfurt Avenue at about 3.45 in the afternoon, pointed a gun at the cashier, put a note on the counter, demanding specific prescription medications. This is where they got it wrong. That was his prescription, <laughs> and that's what senior citizens have to do now to get their prescriptions filled. There ain't no more fucking Medicare. <laughs> That's a shame. That is so sad to think that, that old people are now at the wrong. That's what they the have to do now. It's, I mean, we're laughing, but it's serious. Like that's No, it's sucks. funny. It's fucking funny. It's funny, but it's Because they didn't sad. fight for that shit when they needed to. It's funny. Well, we're not thinking about it at our age, so when we're seniors, they're not going to give us fucking, anything. We're gonna, how old that guy was? That true. One, was He's it? in his 60s, they said. I, ain't making I just feel bad for him. Like, that's what you have to do, rob a pharmacy? Yes. Yes, Obamanomics. I think too many people are put on those oxys for too many things. It's, they're so bad, they it creates so many problems in people's lives, addiction, and then they go to heroin. It's just so scary. I think they should take them off the market. Well, you got several containers of Vicodin and oxycodone, which on the street is oxycodone. And you can see a video of it on phillypolice.com. He was a white guy in his early to middle 60s, about five foot ten, and he wore a light tan hat and a brown jacket and blah, blah, blah. You can see it on the video. I don't even know why the description was in there. See, if they would have said a black hat, I would have just thought it was you. They see just that? confused. I'm surprised they didn't say it was a black guy. It's always a black a white guy. white guy. I know. Surprising. The black guy, it though, isn't would, it. wouldn't have been robbing for them, right? He would have been Mom, robbing for know. money. I don't know, they say. But it's always it's, there's a script. The black guy would have had his drugs already, right? The description, right? as we all, <laughs> the descriptions, as we already know, is always a black guy in a right. Hoodie. That's what they always say. So, profiling. Yeah, racial profiling. Racial so. profiling. So anyway, uh, May sixth is what? I I don't know. The Kenzo yeah, meet and greet. Oh, okay. Another one. Crazy Leprechaun. It's not another one. It's all, it's actually the the third one. But that, that would be another one. A third one would be another one. So what's this meet and greet? What are we what are we doing this time? It's just a meet and greet. Oh, just to all get together. That's what they are. Just a meet and greet. Okay. That's all. All right. There's no like somebody put on there that what this is a, a meeting just between people who drink. No, it's just a meet and greet. It ain't a meeting. You just, so you meet people you don't know. What is the, you what is the people thing that I've you seen, do. though, about Father and Sons on Frankfurt Avenue, then? Oh, that's Thursday night. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about that, actually. Gary Summerfield put together a uh, uh, a dinner meet and greet. Like, you could bring your kids and all to that one. So it's a friendly meet You're and paying meet. for that? I ain't paying for nothing. <laughs> Richie's hey, paying. Mine. You said that's getting donated. We can all just go in and eat and then walk out and no one will notice. So to be a regular Kenzo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I ain't Beat the bill, Kenzo reunion. Yeah. All right. Well, there's a bill to legalize the use of medical marijuana for qualifying patients. That's always been there, I think. That bill's always been there. Well, it's not legal. It has been reintroduced in the Keystone State. Oh, maybe it hasn't never been introduced in, in the Keystone State. That's right. Dr. Harry Swidler. 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 Swidler, an emergency medicine physician, testified marijuana is a non-addicting drug. There is no physical dependence or physical withdrawal associated with its use. Mm -hmm. It is, from a practical standpoint, non-toxic. Marijuana is safer so by, some measures, by some measures than any other drug. There's simply no known quantity of marijuana capable of killing a person. Right. You never hear of a marijuana overdose. No, and you don't typically hear of people that are smoked up going out and shooting up a place either. No. 
No, they dance or around. Or beating anyone up. Dance or... around and have sex and fall asleep. That's in the seven. That that was acid. That's not marijuana. I forgot you go out with that young boy now, so you don't want to show your age. That's right. Cause you can... What does that have to do with anything? Because you were what a is... flower child. First of all, I... Oh my God! For real? Like, well, why renowned is my forensic to get into pathologist. That has nothing to do with Dr. Marijuana. Cyril Wacht testified in a satellite hearing in August 2010. I have personally performed 17,000 autopsies and reviewed 36,000 other postmortem protocols signed out by pathologists throughout the United States. I have never attributed a death to marijuana overdose nor have I ever seen such a death certificate issued by any coroner or medical examiner. Right, which is a good thing. Well, you all, we all know it can help with pain, get your appetite back up. I don't know about sex drive. Yeah, that, you just said that that's when all the people were having sex. They were smoked up. Yeah, but I don't know if it was, that's what drove them to have sex. I think it was just- Well, I've heard people say that it was- They were just does. more relaxed to, to fight about, now you can't have sex with them. I've heard that it helps. Hysteria, depression, anxiety, and insomnia, but could cause excessive hunger, weight gain, weight gain, rotten teeth, paranoia, laziness, and memory loss in the average person. Yeah, which we all say, the young people are like, duh. That's why I'm like I am for duh. sometimes. I get stuck. Stuck on stupid. That's most of the time. You can't blame that on marijuana. <laughs> I smoked a lot of weed back in the day. Never back inhaled. Day. Never I mean, inhaled? Never inhaled. See, I just inhaled it when I tried it. I didn't smoke it. Just like cocaine. I love the smell of cocaine. I never did cocaine. Does it have a smell? Yeah. What's it smell you like? You never smelled cocaine? No. Really? Where would I smell it? At the Through fucking Through your fucking house? nose. <laughs> Through my fucking nose. You're a jackass. <laughs> No, never been that close to it, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for tuning in. Live, love, laugh.